Now, Mr. Sport in Medford. Cards coming up there in Albany. The sports page. Fidelity Lane Ticket Office in Seattle. Looking for one coming up here in Oakville. Can't quite make out which shop that is. But uh, you check around there. Well, we got a ring full. The next event will be a 13-man over-the-top battle royal. The 13th man left in the ring wins the $2,000 prize purse. The last man left in the ring. Everything goes inside the ring. The man is eliminated when he goes over the top rope and hits the floor. Introducing the following participants. From Sacramento, Steve Pardee. From Scotland, Rowdy Roddy Piper. From San Mateo, Mike Hennessy. From France, Ricky Martel. From Florida, Ricky Hunter. From Pendleton, Top Tony Bourne. From Italy, Sal Martino. From New Zealand, the Sheep Herders, Luke Miller, and Luke Williams and Butch Miller. From Los Angeles, Chris Colt. From Russia, Igor Volkov. From Las Vegas, Playboy Buddy Rose. And from Kentucky, the sensational Rip Rogers. Well, 13 of them smiling. Rip Rogers, the hustler. Miller, we understand. Really screaming earlier tonight. Let's settle this between you and me, Rose. Let's put guards around the ring. They're going at each other. And outside the ring, he has not yet come in the ring, is Rose. And the sheep herders are after him immediately. You got to go out over the top rope. Your feet hit the floor, you're disqualified. Now there he goes between the ropes. Rose. Trying to get Rip Rogers out over that top rope. They are going at it. Rose hiding out. There in the corner. Rose catches one, but he's not out yet. Rogers. And not quite sure why Piper helped Rogers. She's no great friend of the sheep herders. After what they've been through. Now the sheep herders have Rogers. And I do believe Hennessy went over the top rope. It is hard to see it all. We'll try to watch it. Thirteen of them in there. Would be a minimum $1,500 purse. Probably more with some side bets. Hennessy is out. Rose still buying time. He hasn't spent much time in that ring. But he gets out without disqualifying himself. Martino did a complete flip. Drop kick from Pardee put him out. Martino's out and he landed hard. Martino, I think, is hurt. Martino may have done in his knee. Rose pulling on the trunks of Piper. Working on it from outside. Rose goes out there. Piper doesn't catches him. A throw in away. Now Cole 
Rogers out there, and Piper got out of the way. Colt was kicked. Rose heads for the dressing room. Martino is halfway up the aisle, turned to threaten him. So he turns back toward the ring. Colt is out. No, check that. Colt is not out. He was outside the ring while that was happening, but he got out legally. Tim Stilly and Volkoff near to going out. And he's saved by Rose, stripping Bourne. And over the top rope, Piper trying to stay in. The Shepard is giving him a hand. Not a round of applause. They gave him assistance. Volkoff trying to get Bourne out and is successful. Tony Bourne is out. And outside the ring, hiding is Colt. Now he is out legally. He's not been uh, disqualified from the competition. Rose is Miller out. Left hand side of your screen. He was running Miller toward the ring post. Miller stopped short and Rose hit the ring post. Hardy working on Piper. Piper hanging on the top rope. Flops back in. Rose gets it again from Miller. Outside the ring. Rose being worked on by Miller. Backbreaker to Pardee inside the ring. See if now Piper can count him out of the referees there to count. Hunter is still in, the sheep herders. Volkoff trying to get Miller out. Pardee is out. And Rogers' foot has not hit the floor yet. Piper and Martell all come over the top. Rose. Rip Rogers got taken out, but it cost Piper and Martell their shot. And watch out, Rose. Getting on. Miller, Miller drags him into the ring. There goes Colt. Colt is out. We're down to five. The sheep herders, Volkoff, Rose, and Hunter. Rose. Working on Williams. Shaw goes over to help both Volkoff. And Hunter is tossed out. Volkoff and Rose in. They suddenly realize that Volkoff does. They go, okay, shall we work together as a team? So Rose has lasted long enough. Volkoff is out. Uh-oh. Rose is in against the sheep herders. The two of them, and you can bet that what they've got to get strong, they'll probably go for more than just a win. They're probably trying to get him. There's a fan down at ringside getting in for the cane. He's on Rose's side, it looks like. A wild man in there, out of the crowd. They're trying to stop him. They put him through. Now he's chasing the security people out. On loads. He's got a mask on. Oh, somebody out of the crowd. That's Waskowski. I just got to look at his. That's Ed Waskowski. That's not a fan. I don't know if anyone else has realized it yet. 
someone out of the crowd. And Wyskowski coming in there with a heavy cane. And I'm sure that's Wyskowski. And Rose, you see Rose working with him now. Here comes Piper and Martell. That is Wyskowski. The mask comes down. Ed Wyskowski, one of the wildest. Oh, my God. Coming out of the crowd and disabling just about everybody, including two or three of the security people. Well, I don't even know. We had the sheep herders in there against Rose and what Sandy Barr will come up with in a way of a, uh, a ruling as to the winner. You see it, the sheep herders are down. Martino's down, Hennessy. He went in with a very heavy walking stick. He appeared to be just another fan coming down by the ring and suddenly tore into the ring and just in a melee went after the sheep herders, helping Rhodes. The security people came in. They couldn't do anything with him. The other wrestlers came out of the ring. And I am sure it's been a while, a year, since he mysteri uh, disappeared rather mysteriously. And we'll have to wait for some confirmation, but having seen that face many, many times, I'm quite sure that was Ed Wyskowski coming in there, and of course that would fit in with what... Uh, what uh, he has been saying, that is, Rose has been saying about having a surprise. So uh, he's certainly had, let's listen to Sandy Ball. For those people who didn't see who that was that climbed in the ring, it was Ed Wyskowski, and because he came in here, he wasn't booked to be on this card. I'm awarding the match to both Butch Miller and Luke Williams. Okay, it is two.